Anyone who spent time with a playful dog knows the sound. A low rumble or growl that erupts during a seemingly happy game of fetch or tug of war. It can be unsettling for dog owners, leaving them wondering, is my dog actually enjoying this, or is something more sinister brewing? The good news is that growling during play is often a normal part of canine communication. Dogs use growls to express a wide range of emotions, and playful growling simply indicates that your furry friend is excited and engaged in the fun. However, it's important to be able to distinguish between a playful growl and a growl that signals aggression. Here's how to decipher your dog's growls and ensure playtime stays positive for everyone. Understanding Dog Growling Growling is a natural canine behavior used for communication. It can express a variety of emotions, including 1. Playfulness. This is the most common reason dogs growl during play. 2. Fear or anxiety. A dog who feels threatened or scared might growl as a warning. 3. Dominance. Some dogs growl to assert dominance over another dog or person. 4. Possessiveness. A dog might growl to protect a toy, food, or territory. 5. Pain or discomfort. If your dog is injured or in pain, they might growl when touched or approached. The key to understanding a growl lies in interpreting it alongside other body language cues. Playful growling versus aggressive growling. While a playful growl might sound intimidating, several key differences separate it from an aggressive growl. 1. Sound. Play growls tend to be higher pitched and shorter in duration than aggressive growls. They might even sound almost like a playful grunt. 2. Body language. A playful dog's body will be relaxed. They might have a wagging tail, open mouth with a relaxed jaw, bowed legs in a play bow position, and bouncy movements. 3. Engagement. A playful dog will continue to initiate play behaviors like rolling over, chasing, or bringing you the toy. On the other hand, an aggressive growl will be accompanied by body language that indicates tension and potential threat. 1. Sound. Aggressive growls are often deeper, longer, and more guttural than playful growls. They may be accompanied by growling with lips curled back, teeth bared, and a low growl that rumbles in the chest. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. 2. Body language. An aggressive dog's body will be stiff and tense. They might have flattened ears, raised fur on the back, hackles raised, a hard stare, and a curled tail tucked between the legs. 3. Engagement. An aggressive dog might snap at the air or the object of their growling, attempt to bite or retreat and avoid further interaction. While growling during play is often normal, there are situations where it might indicate a problem. 1. Intensity. If the growling becomes increasingly intense or aggressive sounding as the play continues, it's a sign the dog might be getting overstimulated and needs a break. 2. Redirected aggression. If the growling suddenly shifts towards you or another pet during play, it could indicate redirected aggression. 3. Changes in behavior. If your dog's play style changes noticeably, becoming more rough or persistent, despite the other dog or person appearing uncomfortable, it's best to intervene. How to handle play growling. If your dog growls playfully, here are some tips to ensure playtime stays positive. 1. Read your dog's body language. Pay close attention to your dog's overall demeanor. If they seem tense or uncomfortable, take a break from play. 2. Respect the growl. Don't punish your dog for growling. It's a natural form of communication. Instead, end the play session if the growling intensifies or seems to indicate discomfort. 3. Positive reinforcement. Reward your dog for calm play behaviors and for taking breaks during playtime. Here are some tips to help your dog develop appropriate play behavior. 1. Supervised play. Always supervise playtime, especially with young puppies or when introducing your dog to a new playmate. 2. Choose appropriate toys. 
provide your dog with a variety of safe and durable toys suitable for their size and play style. Remember, growling during play doesn't mean aggression. It's their way of saying, let's keep this game rolling. So next time your pup growls mid tug of war, join the chorus and enjoy the symphony of play. Thanks for watching the video. Do you want to be a good pack leader and stop your dog's behavioral problems for good? Check out the first link in the description and get your dog training video series absolutely free. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dog related content. See you next time.